I'm at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Excuse me, sir, you're in the, ah, oh, German in Venice. What are you doing? Look at this. I'm not the German in Venice. I'm the German in Hollywood right Yeah, now. I'm the Bob in Burbank. That's where I'm staying tonight. <laughs> Look who it is. I run into the craziest people when I go out of town. No, actually, we just went and had sandwiches. You had a salad. I had a salad. He's yeah. having a salad. I had a meatball sandwich. And uh, we're at the Rainbow and we're in Hollywood. And he's going to show me around town. And then we're going to go, what are we going to do? Uh, we can't say on camera. We're going to sleep under a bridge? <laughs> i show you some good places to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Hustler thing still over there? They oh, moved it. it was right there. It's it, close. It was right time. there. Yeah. I haven't been here in a couple years. All right, we'll see what's happening. We're gonna take pictures. We're gonna to be tourists. You live here all the time. You're a permanent tourist. I am. That's yes. what I love it. Rainbow Bar and Grill, the Roxy, a lot of Roxy. music history. Now, I've been to the whiskey before. I want to put this sandwich in my car. Hold on. So check this out, German. You're the very, very first person to get one of these. What? It's a video bomb sucker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, that's dope. Yeah, I think. Put that in your mouth. <laughs> and look, there's a tattoo shop. That's the. We should go get tattoos. Like most you, famous you, tattoo place. Right you there. could get a tattoo of me on on your arm, and then I'll get something else. And then what? <laughs> I, I get that that tattooed on my arm right here. Oh my god, I think it's broken. Oh, I gave you a broken one. It's all right. It's watermelon the, flavor. I got the first one. Though. You got the very first one. I didn't realize it got broken though. I have to get you another one. Nice. There's only a few of those in the world, so you got the very first one ever made. I haven't even had one. I can't believe it. And here's what we do. You're going to sign it in the back. How about that? How am I going to sign it? How do you because I'm... lick it for you one time? Wait a minute. Why am I giving you a... You told me you're not supposed to eat sugar anymore. I don't eat it. This is going to be for okay. posterity. I'm going to collect this, man. All right, hold on. Let me sign it. People want to see what I signed on it. I put my video Bob Van Halen on there. Watch out! This guy almost wrecked He's like, oh my God, it's video of Bob in the German in Venice. I'm gonna wreck my car, I'm so excited. All right, we're down here on uh, Sunset in Hollywood. And uh, there's the rainbow, there's the Roxy. Now, okay, now you do movie locations, that's your gig, right? So, what movie locations do you remember they did here at the rainbow and the well, Roxy? they didn't really do movie location. They were filming uh, <laughs> Slash was on the guitar playing right here. And uh, like I said, that's not a movie location. They had Chi Chi Chong on the side. That's they right. Done, uh, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator 2, they were coming out the door, the music video too. That's right. And in the movie, uh, Up at Smoke, they were playing at the Roxy here, and then they had the van parked that's right. right over there. Losing my voice, I don't know why. So yeah. I've always wanted to build that van and bring it, but now you can't park back here. Now they're letting people eat there. And in the music video, you see Slash right here, and he's kind of hovering over the concrete right here. Wow, check this place out, I'm walking out. They got two F40s in here. Seriously? Uh, those are expensive. Wow. I like that spider boat. These are nice. Wow. <laughs> those are there's a, those are not cheap. Oh, my buddy. How was that? A Corvette. Corvette. My buddy Hoomy has this car. He was just showing it on Hoomy's garage. Check out his channel. His uh, McLaren Mercedes. We did some nice stuff. Wow. Of course, the whiskey a go-go. Now, if, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time, if you remember, I think it was 2017, I played here with the band Judas Priest. That's right, Rob Halford and Judas Priest. I played on the stage singing with them with the Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. It was a lot of fun and it was an amazing experience. There's a band here tonight called Leather Wolf. I don't know who they are, but they sound amazing. Uh, a lot of history here in this place. We need to get, uh, we should start a metal band. I should. Yeah, you and me. I'm the drummer. Well, I thought you were going to play kazoo. I don't even know what that is. You could play, you could play accordion maybe, a tuba? 
played a Hare Krishna. Are, are, are you a drummer? Can you can you drum? A little bit. Well, I play triangle. What's well, a circle now? Because I just kept beating it and beating it. But we are at the world famous Whiskey A Go Go. Can let's you see, believe it? Let's see what's on the sign. There it is. Now they're closed. It's the Viper Room. Here it is. I just watched a great documentary on the Viper Room. It's fantastic. I wish I could go in there. Check it out. Of course, everybody wants to talk about River Phoenix here. But I'm sure much more fun stuff has happened here than that. Have you been in there? I've been there many times. Been yeah. many times. Really small, that place. I didn't know my light was on. It's on. Oh. Memorials here. Viper Room. Wow. Bummer. German here tells me. I just call him German. Do you ever say your name on your channel? Of course. Mike. Mike. Well, German. Whatever you want to call me. Well, man. I didn't know if you used your name. Yeah, Michael. Mike. Okay. So he was telling me that they want to tear down this whole block and turn it into apartment complexes because that's what happens in the name of progress. And, uh, you know, the city, the, the people here are all fighting it. They don't want that to happen. They want to maintain Hollywood Sunset Strip. Speaking of progress that's not very progressive, let's walk across the street and I'll show you some, some other progress that sucks. So right over here, what used to be the world's greatest record store of all time is now a supreme whatever whatever supreme is burrito supreme taco supreme i don't know all i know is i see a lot of people wearing this logo usually at the flea market uh apparently they got their own store it's burrito supreme or something i don't know are, are you do you wear supreme what is supreme uh not yet supreme no? is a really high-end uh t-shirt they sell t-shirts whatever oh you know, wow they're like is that what two three hundred dollar shirts and Okay, for some reason, they have a statue of Bullwinkle and Rocky the Squirrel. Do you, do you know why there's, do you know why Bullwinkle is here, Rocky? No, I heard it was gone for a while. Somebody stole it. How do you steal the whole statue like this? They just put it up like a year ago, or maybe. Hey, gone. Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of a hat. Nothing on my sleeve. Yeah. Like a billboard for Dahmer. They're trying to get. Uh, nominations, uh, you know, for the Emmy. Did you watch the Dahmer movie? I didn't know, but it's a like, guys. It's just, German. just eat the sandwich. Come on, just, just eat the sandwich. So yeah, there's, there's Montano Entertainment from Scarface. You know, I have the Scarface car, and uh, that's where they did it. So they just reworded that and made that into. Uh, Part of Scarface's entrance. Me and Mike are talking about my filming style. I'm gonna record this. So I always start with a wide, right? And then I like to zoom in on the thing I'm talking. And I like to do it kind of gradually, you know? Like that. Which is one of the things I like about using the iPhone. It has the three lenses. And the thing is, is when you're editing, another great thing about using the computer when you edit, a lot of people, like you said, you like to edit on your phone. When you're in your computer, I can crop this in and zoom in. So if you're so if you're in your standard lens like that, a lot of people like to know how we do what we do, the actual function of, of blogging. And so I wish that there was a way that I could seamlessly switch between the front and rear camera without stopping. Because like if I, if I wanted to, I have to turn the physical camera around like this, or I have to stop recording and then switch to the other camera. So, you know, you have to just get good at that. Um, and I'm not using a microphone, I'm using the on-camera microphone. Look towards your left is the famous comedy store. Oh, of course, I've been there. So, yeah. So, he says he doesn't like it when I zoom. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Would you rather me just keep it on a, a nice, steady shot like that? Sometimes people don't like my zooming stuff. I'm a zoomer. Okay, zoomer. What's this joint? The Saddle Ranch. Chop house. Oh, that's a steakhouse. You don't like steaks. Look at this one here. Yeah. Carney's. Uh, I've seen that place. I, 
I've been up and down the street lots of times. I've never really like vlogged it, I would say. I was gonna stay in Hollywood, but I was kind of afraid. Now I remember House of Blues used to be down there, right? No, it was all the way in the back. Oh, it was back there, yeah. Across from uh, the Hustler. Oh, that's where it was, okay. They tore it down, right? Yep. They, yeah. Yeah, still Panther used to play there all the time. Girls, girls, girls. I've been in there and the body shop, it's terrible. <laughs> it's, you ever been in there? Of course not, you've never, you would never go to a place like that or the Seventh Veil. Vale. Oh, the only reason why I went there is they have a nice pool table in there. I play uh, pool all the time. Oh, of course, yeah, that's why. <laughs> the Chateau Marmont. Yeah, the Seventh Veil vale in the body shop is not like, you know, you watch the Motley Crue videos and it's all cool. It's, it's like, gotta be the dingiest gentleman's club I've ever been into. It was like, it's so small. <laughs> but I, you know, you don't go for the uh, the infrastructural ambiance. It's the... <laughs> See, a lot of people, they come to Hollywood and then they, they get on this bus and they do the tour. I got the German and Venice tour. This is the greatest tour ever. The GIV tour. The GIV tour. You gonna go see Blue Beetle? You said you were gonna go see it. There's the wax museum. Here's the famous Tyrannosaurus Rex coming out of the, believe it or not. Okay, so over here at the Hollywood Museum. Is the Hollywood Museum open or is it closed? Have it's you been closed. over there? No, it's closed. They it's used right to have there. one of my time machines in there. I had one of my DeLorean time machines in there, belongs to Martin Sanchez. And it was the one that we took on Pawn Stars years ago, that he bought. And it was on display in there for like a year or two, I think. So, but it's closed now, that sucks. What a bummer. Um, I've been to that, believe it or not. I've been to the wax museum. Maybe one day they'll have a wax figure of the German in Venice. There they are. Oh, you can buy some stuff. Premium goods. Let's see. Where's that uh, bar sinister at? I forgot where it's at. Oh, it's coming next. Time. I think it's the next street over in it. It's close by. It's a goth bar that I go to, but I can't. I don't know my way around. Pretty awesome. I think it's the next one. I remember there was a hot dog place on the corner. I think it was called Scoopy's. I don't know if it's still there. Oh yeah. I think that's where it is right here. Oh yeah, yeah, this is it. But I think it's only Bar Sinister on the weekends. So, I don't know what it is the rest of the time. Boners. Bordners. <laughs> Actually, going by there makes me sad. I used to go there with my good friend. His name was Cleve Hall. He had a TV show on sci-fi called Monster Man. He was a prop builder, goth guy. And uh, whenever I was in town, me and Cleve would hook up and we'd go hang out. And uh, Cleve died about a year or two ago. And I really miss the guy. He was a great guy. We used to love to go to Bar Sinister and get our dance on. It was fun. I love the whole goth scene. That's my gig. I listen to new wave music, dark wave, that kind of stuff. And um, that's a really cool bar. So if you come out here, check it out on the weekends. Oh yeah, so this is the hotel where Richard Gere and Pretty Woman was standing on the fire escape. Where's the picture you were saying? It's a little bit in the bag, in the window. See right there? Where am I looking? Straight. There's a tree. Oh, okay. All right, so this is where Richard Gere was. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome what to Hollywood. is your dream? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, so funny. He man. says he likes when I, if I, when I laugh at my own jokes, because I crack myself up because I'm like, I can't believe I'm so stupid. <laughs> I, I go, I'm like, did I really say that? Am I that dumb? Did I? I crack myself up. <laughs> I'm like an insane person. But this is really how I am all the time. I'm not any different. Am I? I'm zero different. Oh, no, you're exactly how I However you guys see videos. me on the camera, that's how I am all the time. I look like this all the time. I act like this all the time. 
The only difference is sometimes I'm recording it and sometimes I'm not. That's it. <laughs> and that's what I like about you. You are exactly the way you are in the videos. You know? I apologize to everyone in advance for being me. Because I, you know, I just decided one day to start recording. I, I've been doing this, this thing that we're doing now since before there was such a thing as YouTube. I used to do this with a VHS camcorder in the 90s. And I had a cable access show called The Video Bob Show in Fort Worth, Texas. And I used to go around with a VHS camcorder the size of, like, you've seen them. They're huge. And do this very thing. And I, I'll show you these videos. I was like 16 years old, I would do this. Nuts and roses. I, I can hear the sound of Slash tuning up. And that's your favorite store right here. There it is, the Hustler Hollywood. Let's go get demonetized. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One of my close dear friends in Vegas is Brent Fitz. He is he plays with Slash. He's a drummer and a bass player. I think right now he's out with Jelly Roll or somebody. But um, he plays in a lot of different bands. But he's 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 a drummer for Slash's band. And um, when we were just there at uh, the Rainbow, we ran into uh, one of the guys from Mammoth, who also was friends. With, Brett Fitz, and he came up to me, hey, you're one of Brett's friends. So it's crazy, everywhere I go, uh, I always run into somebody. And German over here has been getting recognized like crazy um, here in Hollywood. So whenever you see either one of us, make sure to come up and say hello. He loves it. I love it. He loves it. <laughs> Makes his day. So we love it. So if you see us, don't be afraid to come up and say something. Those girls are having fun. And look, it's Capitol Records. Now, what was the greatest scene ever filmed at Capitol Records? I bet you know. Rush Hour. I'm gonna go with Ford Fairlane, Andrew Dice Clay, as he's falling off the building and he drops his guitar. And it was the, that was the best scene filmed at the Capitol Records. Did you ever see Ford Fairlane? No, i never seen it. It's the greatest, it's one of the greatest movies ever. I've never seen it. With Andrew it. Dice Clay. I know Andrew Dice Clay. And he's yeah. falling off the, he, he drops his guitar. My guitar! My head, my head. It was the best thing ever. He's falling off the building. <laughs> you gotta see Ford Fairlane. It's the most Hollywood movie ever. I will check it out. Oh my gosh, it's a great, great Hollywood movie. Look how cool this is. This here. is cool. I don't know what's going on. They've got, oh, they're promoting The Nun. Wow, that's a lot of work for a movie promotion. Is this wall not normally here? Did they actually build this whole wall just to promote the nuts? It's a parking lot. You're kidding. That's an unbelievable amount of prep for a movie promotion. You're right. They put up this entire fake facaded wall with backlitted stained glass to promote the, promote the movie The Nun. Wow. That is... Wow, that is sick. That's an empty parking lot. And they, oh, and they're putting it up right now. They're doing it. Wow. Video Bob, I've been watching you for over 10 years. And I think you deserve one of those. You're my favorite YouTuber after Adam DeVoe. So this is for you, Bob. Best daughter. Oh, best Th daughter. Hey, no, I, I identify as daughter. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Best son right here. There it is. <laughs> you like me. You really, really like me. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> wow. I've always thought I was best daughter. What do we got? We got best wife, best husband. Where's best German? I don't see best German. It's got to be here somewhere. I could be best uncle. Bob's your uncle. That's where they do the Oscars. You got some of that red carpet at your house, don't you? A few pieces, yes. Yeah. So. I can't believe you're watching my videos, Bob. I watch your videos. <laughs> I'm watching the German videos. Of course, this is where they do the Oscars. They go up this grand staircase here. Who is that? Who, who, whose star is that? This is absolutely fantastic. Check it out. This is my star. I got a long time ago. Maria was so proud of me. 
This is unbelievable. Mike, Mike, Mike. You don't need to try to do the impression. You sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger already. That's how I speak normally, right? <laughs> yeah. You, you sound like him all the time. Just say, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper now. No, you don't, don't, don't put the effect on it. Just get, say it. Get to the chopper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, just, you sound like Arnold anyway. You just got the accent. It's Robert Wadlow, the tallest man ever lived. Right over here, there he is. And here at, uh, wait, I just heard a sound. That one of the sounds they used for that robot was from Back to the Future. I, I hear these things, I recognized it. They used one sound effect from Back to the Future in that robot and I recognized it instantly. <laughs> I was coming back to my car and somebody threw up. Some, somebody threw up next to my car. There's puke all over the ground. Who did that? Oh my God. Oh, that was so gross. German just dropped me off. We went driving around Hollywood and stuff. It was fun. I'm parked over here by the rainbow and somebody threw up next to my car. They must not have liked the dinner they had. <laughs> All right, I'm roasted. It's enough for today. Mm -hmm.